Okay, hello everyone, Victor Momo from Excel Moments, and this is a sequel to a video I posted about three years ago on inserting multiple rows between each row of your data set. And somebody did ask the question there, Victor, can we apply this to columns where I insert multiple blank columns between each column of my data set? And I thought there was no better way to answer than to put up a video to say, yes, this can be done and that's why we are here today but before then if you look at the bottom of this video you probably notice a black button with a white font and the word subscribe written on it if you haven't clicked that button please do click so that you are subscribed to this channel and also turn on the notification bell icon so that when i post a video you'll be the first to know and if you are a returning subscriber i would say thank you very much let's get back into excel so you have data that looks like this and you want to insert, say, two blank columns between each column of data. Logic is very simple. Somebody could go ahead, you know, click this, Control shift plus Control shift plus you know, you have two blank columns, goes to the next and so on. You don't need to do that. The first thing you need to do is just to create a sequence of numbers, one, two, three, up to the number of columns that you have. So in this case, I could just, well, many ways to do this, right? So I could start with one, you know, and do a right mouse click drag, and I'll say fill series. Okay, there are many ways to do this, but this is just one way I wanted to show. So do a control C copy, let's paste here, and let's also paste here. Now the logic is very simple. What we are going to do is we are going to sort this data horizontally. We are sorting from left to right. Okay, so if you sort from left to right, what would happen? The first thing is the ones will come together. So you have this one, this will be your first column. Now this is going to be the next column, this is going to be the next column. What do you see already? You are going to have one column with data, and then these two blank columns would come together. So you have those two first before you come to the next number, right? Which is two. Two would also come and then also come with its own word blanks and so on. So basically, the horizontal sort of this data would fix it. So let's select everything here, Control Shift right and down. And now we need to do custom sort. Okay. You could use the shortcut Alt E S S. You could also maybe come to the home tab you know sort and filter you can have custom sorts there you could go to the data tab and you could also click custom sort here right so once you do this now you go into options for options you know that you're not sorting from top to bottom as we always do we are sorting from left to right so change this to left to right do okay now what are you sorting by it's going to list for you here the rows of your data sets and you know that the numbers you have here which you are sorting by are on row one so you can see this is a to z though because now it's thinking of alphabets the moment you change it to row one you can see excel is intelligent enough to know that we now have numbers and it's doing smallest to largest so basically it's going to sort this data using row one from smallest to largest meaning all the ones will come together all the twos threes and so on so you do okay okay and that way automatically you have inserted two blank columns between all the columns of your data Row one is now redundant for all intents and purposes. So if you wanted to do it four times, it's basically just to create that sequence and repeat it that number of times. You can also make that sequence very dynamic by using maybe some dynamic array formulas, reduce and so on. But no, we're not going to get into that. But this is how you get it done without you breaking a sweat. So if you enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel Excel Moments. For now, I'm out. But before I go, I need to delete this. All right. So I'm out.